Greetings, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and welcome to another episode of Ask Dave. Bridgecom is uh, Bridgecom Systems is the company that does two things. They they assemble and create repeaters to order, either analog repeaters, two meter, four forty, whatever, or you can do D Star or you can do DMR. Okay. And then they also import the Anytone uh, DMR handhelds. These are also good as just ordinary FM handhelds. Let's see what other pieces of uh, information we've got here. This is a thank you for buying your radio from us. I'll put this over here. Um, and it tells you where you can go to Bridgecom University and learn about DMR. And they've got an amazing number of videos and something that uh, uh, would be very interesting. They've got different steps that you go through to get your support and downloads that you need. So let's take a look. You know, this is the actual radio itself. Firmware 1.12. One, one, 1 Read this first. Plug your radio into your Windows computer without installing the driver. Windows should find the driver automatically. Okay, here is, here are a couple stickers for those who love stickers. They seem to be popular these days. Uh, there's a couple of them there. Here's the owner's manual. Now the owner's manual, having looked at the previous owner's manual for the D878UV, uh, it's written by an, uh, a native English speaker or very near native English speaker and much easier to use than a lot of the, the other, even the Japanese um, manuals. So here is the radio. Good grief. It is well packed. Wow. Okay, the radio. And there is um, I don't know quite what this is for. It's a USB connector with two connections on the end. We'll have to read the instruction book about that. This is the programming cable, okay, a USB, and. When they say plug it in, you plug this into the uh, headphone jack here and then attach it to your computer and it should find the driver. Here's a little uh, strap made of Velcro, the antenna. Um, this is the little item that you use on the back to clip it onto your belt. And here is the drop-in um, charger. Okay, very common for all the Chinese radios have these separate drop-in chargers. This is the little push to talk button and you see the blue color there? <laughs> That's Bluetooth. This push to talk button can go somewhere that uh, you need to be and you can press the push to talk button from there. Uh, so we'll explore that and see what all has to happen um, with these uh, little Bluetooth items like that. Now this battery, you, you put it in like this, the bottom in first and then the top, just out of curiosity. There we go. After I got this, I've received a, about one email a day from Bridgecom. And uh, what they are trying to do is provide excellent support for uh, the users of this radio. I've never had another uh, vendor who has been so thorough about uh, sending uh, email links and so on about using the radio. It's, they seem quite determined that you're going to have a good experience with that radio. I commend them for that. Uh, the Anytone um, D878. UV, either with or without the Bluetooth, um, 
is a great radio and probably my favorite so far of all the radios. So do I recommend it? Yes, absolutely I do. Uh